We have found a series of declassified secret government documents revealing how the United States and Chinese governments have spent billions of dollars studying psychokinesis abilities in humans and conducting thousands of secret experiments which prove the paranormal abilities of telekinesis, telepathy, clairvoyance, and astral projection are not just fantastical superpowers, but are absolutely real abilities which many individuals possess. People who are exploited by the governments, researched and used in various ways in the military and the secret intelligence agencies. Cases of mind-influencing matter have been reported throughout history and across many cultures for thousands of years. These stories tell of people possessing paranormal abilities which include telepathy, levitation, psychokinesis, and other phenomena that lie within the realms of parapsychology. This is evident in ancient literature from the Vedic texts and the Yoga Sutras to Jesus, Moses, Milarepa, Mohammed, and more. As fascinating and unimaginable as these stories may sound, modern-day evidence is suggesting that these abilities are something much more than just folklore. Fast forward to today, scientists have been exploring the mind-matter relationship for more than a century. We have established that consciousness, or factors associated with consciousness, do in fact have observable effects on what we call the physical material world, although they are very small effects. It's important to note that these effects aren't always seen by the observable eye, but they are known at the quantum level. The most commonly used experiment to illustrate and prove the connection between consciousness and our physical reality is the quantum double-slit experiment which we explained and talked about in many of our videos. By contrast, this experiment proves that factors associated with consciousness, such as meditation experience and psychological factors including openness and absorption, significantly correspond with perturbations in the double-slit interference pattern, which demonstrates how consciousness can alter the physical. At the end of the day, our pioneering physicists, such as Max Planck, the creator of the quantum theory, regard consciousness as fundamental and matter as derivative from consciousness. In his book, Quantum Theory and Measurement, Eugene Wigner, a physicist and mathematician, said that it was not possible to formulate the laws of quantum mechanics in a fully consistent way without reference to consciousness. We can discuss the connection between mind and matter but let's talk about the interest of the United States and other governments around the world in regards to paranormal human abilities. We found a declassified CIA document which outlines the Chinese government's interest in parapsychology, remote viewing, telepathy, psychokinesis, etc. The document is titled, Chronology of Recent Interest in Exceptional Functions of the Human Body in the People's Republic of China. This particular document, which was declassified through a Freedom of Information Act request, outlines specific people with very special abilities and how they've been studied by thousands of scientists and governments around the world for a very long time. The document is on the CIA website. The U.S. government also openly had, and probably still does, an interest in parapsychology, which is most evident within their Stargate program. The Stargate Project was the code name for a secret U.S. Army unit established in 1978 at Fort Meade, Maryland, which investigated the potential for psychic phenomena in military and domestic intelligence applications, specifically the remote viewing phenomenon, which we call astral projection. The top secret program had been training individuals in the esoteric science of remote viewing, in which claimed people were able to envision ongoing activities in distant places and future events, enabling them to create a small army of psychic spies which could obtain data about foreign espionage activities, counterterrorism efforts, secret military bases abroad, and hidden missiles. 
all using their parapsychological abilities. The secret program recognized the inherent psychic potential in humans and attempted to harness these special faculties or powers for the purposes of intelligence gathering, often of a vital nature during the Cold War. That program lasted more than two decades before the public became aware of it. Another declassified secret document, which proves the existence of these paranormal activities, is a declassified U.S. Air Force report on teleportation, which was made available through the Federation of American Scientists. The document confirms how in 1979, a major Chinese science journal, Zironzaki, which means Nature Journal, carried a report on non-visual pattern recognition in which numerous accounts of exceptional human body function were confirmed. As a result, an unofficial preliminary organization to study this under the watch of the Nature Journal was established. In 1980, the Journal and the Chinese Human Body Science Association held a major parapsychology conference in Shanghai, with participants from over 20 research institutes and universities specifically to study the phenomenon of remote viewing, telepathy, psychokinesis, clairvoyance, and many others. One year later, in 1981, over 100 centers to study children with purported exceptional abilities and mental capabilities were formed, with the cooperation of more than 100 formally trained psychic scholars. One year after that, in 1982, the Chinese Academy of Sciences sponsored a public hearing in Beijing that more than 4,000 scholars attended regarding cases of parapsychological abilities within humans. They called for fair but strictly controlled tests to lead to a final judgment. Here's one shocking outline from the document. In all the experimental cases that were reported, the test specimens that were teleported were completely unaltered or unchanged from their initial state. Even the insects were unaffected by being teleported. The experiments were well controlled, scientifically recorded, and the experimental results were always repeatable. And here's another one. The high-speed photography and videotaping recorded in one series of experiments that test specimens would physically meld or blend with the walls of sealed containers and recorded in a different series of experiments that test specimens would simply disappear from inside the container only to reappear at another location after seconds to several minutes of time transpired such that the test specimen did not actually undergo total material disintegration and reintegration during teleportation. This data is important because without the aid of electronic monitoring instruments, the average person's sensory organs and usual methods of detection are temporarily unable to perceive the test specimen's ambiguous existence during the teleportation process. The entire document is absolutely fascinating. It contains not only incredible experiments, but also scientific equations and teleportation diagrams explaining how to open wormholes. They even explain how you can pass and teleport through physical objects without interfering with them using and teleporting through the fourth dimension. Most of these documents mention one very special individual, a man named Zhang Bosheng, who astonished both American and Chinese scientists who studied him. A series of psychokinesis experiments with the subject Zhang Bosheng were conducted by 19 researchers led by Professor Lin Shu Wang of the Physics Department of Beijing Teachers College. In 1984, Zhang Bosheng became a full-time subject of the military-run parapsychological research team. One of Zhang's accomplishments involved moving sealed objects in and out of sealed containers. Lin Shu Wang, as mentioned earlier, studied this man for six months and described experiments where small pieces of paper were placed in a sealed test tube. After five minutes, with scientists observing and videotaping from various angles, 
the pieces of paper somehow appeared outside the tube, despite the fact that the test tube was still sealed and undamaged. He went on to do the same thing with other small objects like paper clips and even live insects. Another declassified CIA document called Research into Paranormal Ability to Break Through Spatial Barriers also talks about the reality of the paranormal phenomenon. Then, Lin Shu Wang, Zhu Bing Wang, and 17 others conducted special research testing on breaking through spatial barriers. They not only demonstrated that persons with paranormal abilities could extract stationery from sealed craft paper envelopes, but they could also remove insects from glass tubes with sealed caps without any discernible effect on the life or actions of the insect. At the same time, in this experiment, they also conducted an experiment where the subjects removed a sponge which had been dipped in iron chloride from a double layer sealed potassium thiocyanate type paper bag without any visible change of coloring of the test paper. This research opened the way for research into the ability to break through spatial barriers and provided a number of preliminary bases of a physical nature for this phenomenon. On the basis of these experiments, we believed it was necessary to use even stricter methods to conduct further proof of the reality of this ability and that we should observe the process of this breakthrough and the point of penetration in order to demonstrate whether or not there was penetration of the walls of a physical object. Apparently, there are many people who possess such paranormal abilities. According to Dr. Eric Davis, who is mentioned in the declassified U.S. Air Force document, there are many gifted children who were responsible for the teleportation of small physical objects from one place to another. The participants never touched the objects beforehand. The experiments were done under both blind and double-blind conditions, and the researchers involved came from various colleges and sectors of the Department of Defense. This is an exceptional case because it was deemed necessary that an unclassified intelligence information report was prepared for public viewing. Dr. Dean Radin, chief scientist at the Institute of Noetic Scientists, conducted an experiment involving mental teleportation of bits of paper out of a sealed plastic film container. This was documented in a report published in 2010 by retired research chemist Dong Shen. What's even more fascinating is that these methods were taught to others and the success rate was 40%. Dr. Eric Davis made the following statement regarding the phenomenon. The results of the Chinese teleportation experiments can simply be explained as a human consciousness phenomenon that somehow acts to move or rotate test specimens through a fourth spatial dimension so that specimens are able to penetrate the solid walls and barriers of their containers without physically breaching them. Another great example comes from a study published in the American Journal of Chinese Medicine, as seen in the U.S. National Library of Medicine. The study demonstrated that a woman with special abilities was, and is still able to, accelerate the germination of specific seeds for the purposes of developing a more robust seed stock. As the study states, Chu Lin Sun is a woman with exceptional powers. A member of the Chinese Somatic Science Research Institute, she is a practitioner of Wai Qi. Wai Qi is a type of Qigong that teaches the practitioner to bring the Qi energy of traditional Chinese medicine under the control of the mind. Chu Lin Sun can induce plant seeds to grow shoots and roots several centimeters long within 20 minutes using mentally projected Qi energy. This has been demonstrated on more than 180 different occasions at universities as well as science and research institutions in China, including Taiwan and Hong Kong, as well as other countries. We took part in and repeated the Qi germination experiments seven times and five of them succeeded. This remarkable effect on seed development has drawn widespread attention, but the biological mechanisms that underlie this phenomenon are unknown. Chu Lin Sun's ability is absolutely remarkable. Apparently, she enters into a deep trance-like state 
and from this place she is able to advance the time required for sprouting dry seeds from their usual 3 to 4 days to 20 minutes, generating a sprout growth of 3 to 4 inches. After a genetic analysis, scientists confirmed this to be the case, hence the using of the word rapid in the title. The abstract of the study also states that the Qi energy changed the structure of a germination correlated gene site, speeding up expression and advancing it in time. Qi is believed to be everywhere on Earth. When you're healthy, Qi is flowing freely through you, whereas when you're unhealthy, you either have a blockage from Qi or your Qi tank is low. Perhaps Chu Lin soon has learned how to harness universal energy allowing her to essentially speed up the growth process of the plants. This would make sense if you believe in the concept of oneness, that we are all fundamentally connected to one another, including the plant life around us. Here's an interesting excerpt from Jeffrey Mishlove's book called The Psychokinesis Man, A True Story of Mind Over Matter. Among the most marvelous, most frightening, and certainly most unbelievable possibilities suggested by psychic folklore is that human beings may be able to exert an observable influence upon the physical world simply through the power of conscious intention, or unconscious intention, or by some accounts, through the assistance of spiritual intelligences, or as a result of a mysterious principle known as synchronicity. Some scholars, such as Stephen Brody, professor of philosophy at the University of Maryland, take such reports very seriously, claiming that no honest person can examine the case study reports and easily dismiss them. Regardless of whether or not you believe any of these people possess the aforementioned superhuman capabilities, this subject is clearly worth studying. If this didn't merit further research, do you really think government organizations would be studying these people and trying to hide these programs from you? These reports, among many others, clearly proves that there are cases of individuals with supernormal abilities and that the CIA is well aware of them and has further researched this subject. These revelations prove that not only do these superhumans exist, but mainstream science cannot further investigate parapsychology and refuse to fund the research and even shun it. However, this subject is still heavily studied by the secretive military-industrial complex. Clearly, this topic is taken very seriously within these programs. But why ridicule within mainstream science, then? The cutting of these programs is not because there is no interest, but because that interest lies in the world of secrecy, otherwise known as the Black Budget. In the United States, the Stargate program was a great example of a special access Black Budget program. This means that all of the information and findings within these programs remain secret and unknown to the mainstream world. These programs do not exist publicly, but they do indeed exist. They are commonly referred to as Deep Black Programs. A 1997 U.S. Senate report described them as so sensitive that they are exempt from standard reporting requirements to the Congress. There is a lot of evidence to suggest that these programs are not using billions of dollars, but trillions of dollars that are completely unaccounted for in the books. Here is a statement given by Canada's former Minister of National Defense, Paul Hellyer, in 2008. It is ironic that the U.S. would begin a devastating war, allegedly in search of weapons of mass destruction, when the most worrisome developments in this field are occurring in your own backyard. It is ironic that the U.S. should be fighting monstrously expensive wars, allegedly to bring democracy to those countries, when it itself can no longer claim to be called a democracy when trillions, and I mean thousands of billions of dollars, have been spent on projects which both Congress and the Commander-in-Chief know nothing about. We are talking about large amounts of unaccounted for money going into programs we know nothing about. There have been several congressional inquiries that have noted billions and even trillions of dollars that have gone missing from the Federal Reserve System. 
We must open our minds. Don't believe everything our governments tell us. And always look for the truth.